just turned off oh, going north through the desert. Man, I didn't realize Santa Fe in that area is still really deserty. It is still really hot. We stopped off at Tasika, I think is how it's pronounced, uh, Casino. I'd seen it on Campendium as just like an overnight stop, but I thought, well, it's a good place to get, just make a quick peanut butter and jelly sandwich, go to the bathroom, let the dogs out, and there's a, it's a huge parking lot. It's different levels, you know, just like lower level, the middle level, upper level, <clears throat> and of course they didn't need to go to the bathroom. Uh, so, anyway, we've just turned off into some trees. I can't believe it. And I think I may have just seen snow on the top of a mountain. Of course, the one time that I decide, well, when I get the camper, I want to go out west, you know, I want to go to the mountains. And it's in a heat wave. Or they're in a heat wave. I do see snow. Oh my gosh. A little flicker of hope. And for anybody who knows me, y'all know that I cannot stand to be cold, cold, but being in a tin can in 88, 90 degrees is not fun. And I could probably do it if I was alone. It wouldn't bother me too much. I mean, I could have all the windows open and, um, I mean, of course it gets cool at night, but during the day, you know, I can sit in the shade and read or crochet or whatever I'm going to do or make work on my videos but the dogs are just miserable so you really have to think about that when you're traveling with pets you know it is like traveling with two little children you know I really have to think about them and so we're just gonna try to find some cooler a little bit of cooler climate oh slow down well if I'm slowing down then this butthole behind me needs to either go around me or get off my bumper two people he's so close I cannot even see him and the speed limit is 25 oh they turned off thank goodness I don't know why people do that god it's 25 that's the same as a school zone people slow the hell down and I have to say, it is nerve-wracking kind of traveling with dogs. It really is. Because Jupe has such bad separation anxiety, it's getting worse. And I've used the CBD stuff. I spent $80 on a little CBD canister made by two vets. <laughs> that doesn't even phase him. It doesn't even phase Gemma either, I don't think. I mean, nothing's worked so far. I've tried Xanax, Valium, prescription from the vet, and now this other stuff that was expensive. It doesn't do anything. So they're just both still panting. Ugh, it's just nerve wracking. Try to ignore it, but you think they get used to it after a while. But, well, I don't want them to be miserable. They have fun once we get someplace, they're fine. Just, you know, she does this, Gemma does the same thing when I'm trimming her and clipping her. She acts crazy like she's panting, like she's near death. And I think they've learned that. It's just kind of odd. Okay, we're back in this high desert stuff. I don't even know. This is one thing that's kind of bad too, is I don't have a reservation. There, you know, a lot of, most of New Mexico, there's no reservations. You just, it's first come, first serve. You know, that's the, that's the problem is, you know, even though the checkout time is a certain time, if it's first come, first serve, you know, people are always looking for a place and I asked the camp host about it and, you know I said what do you, will you just drive around like a vulture and he said yeah <laughs> I said that's just odd you know but I don't know if it's full I'm not sure what we're gonna do tonight I know there are a couple of places we can stay around Tayos that you know is acceptable just to park overnight and kind of regroup and see where I can go um, but and I know a lot of people are scared to do that. I know a lot of ladies are scared to do that just to kind of go out on your own. If somebody can tell me how to get the stupid thing out of the camera, I've tried so many different ways to fix this and it just doesn't work. Um, but anyway, you just have to, you know, I know it's kind of scary to get out on your own, but I mean, I just went through, 
you know, towns and got turned around, I thought, because stupid Google map, you know, it's telling me to go one way and I knew that wasn't right. So I turned in a big, huge parking lot um, and was looking at the map. And some guy stopped and said, hey, does that thing have a shower? <laughs> I said, yeah. He's like, oh, that's really cool. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. It's really cool. He goes, okay, boondock. I'm like, yep. He just pulled off. I'm like, oh my God, that's so weird and random. But anyway, I was finally able to find my way out of the parking lot and onto the right track. But I know it's kind of nerve wracking, like I said, to pull into parking lots. You just have to really scout and you just can go really, really slow and just look as best you can like really really look and you have to find a place to you know pull out of the parking lot or make sure you can turn around and if not you just keep on going you can always make a u-turn you can always turn around you know nothing's gonna happen I know you know you, that's the last thing you want to do is get in a spot where you can't turn around and even then that's not the end of the world right I mean if you had to you can unhitch Turn your vehicle around and get out of there. So, you know, nothing's gonna, it's not gonna kill you. That's pretty. Anyway, we're gonna drive some more and see what we can find.